Oh, welcome everyone. As those of you might know already from my few previous video, I made it into Inazuma uh, on the Venture Rack 16. And well, here I just want to quickly explain some of the things I was able to find while I was in Inazuma. A lot of people have asked me quite a lot of issues that they think I will be facing. First of all, you will be able to see if you just leave uh, Rito Island right here, none of the guards would do anything towards you because, well, technically you're not actually in Inazuma. The game doesn't recognize you in Inazuma or your adventure rank level. Certain conditions hasn't been met yet, so which means you are not being restricted by anything. And Right now, I'll showcase some of the other things I was able to find while I was traveling on Inazuma with this account. First of all, the enemies does not have really high levels. They all scale from your world level and at world level 0, which ranges from adventure rank 1 to adventure rank uh, 19. Then, at that, at that, those levels, you all have the same world level and the enemies here are level 27. I do believe there are harder enemies that are boss types, uh, somewhere like level 36. But anyway, these enemies are still fairly easy to defeat as long as you have Ascension 1 characters. But they're still much harder than the Mondstadt and the rear enemies. I think the most important topic that a lot of people want to know is what can you do in Azuma, right? So another thing you can do is, uh, I guess, a half of the in Azuma's world quest. Here I'm trying to do the Sacred Sakura Tree cleansing mission. Uh, here's the first part for the Kanda Village secret part and you can actually interact with everything here and eventually the cutscene should play all you have to do is the same procedure uh, as if you are normally in Inazuma um, before we get to the next part where I'm just using some of the footage in my stream where I'm playing on the same account um, because previously some people were just calling me a fake and saying I copied uh, my footage from a Chinese site and it is my account I'm not afraid to show my UID anymore because even if this account gets banned, uh, screw it, whatever, right? Um, but here it is. I'll show you the rest of the clips. Let me unlock this domain. Can I even unlock this? Yeah. This is awkward. Expect me to collect all the teleportation waypoint another day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can you imagine just playing the entire Inazuma but just don't have? Wait. Well, you can actually trigger random events in here? That's something new? Wait, what? I thought I thought it would be bugged and you cannot do that. Okay. Uh, she wants us to take a picture. I remember this. But yeah, now I'm getting back to narrating my footage. But yeah, I didn't record too much of the Sacred Soccer Tree mission line, but here it is. I'm able to get to the end of it if any of you have seen or done this quest. All you know, all you have to do is come to talk to Lady Kazari and she will uh, unlock this area for you. Then you can go down there and fight the boss fight. Yeah, as you can see, now I finished the boss fight and I skipped the cutscene because it's quite spoiler. Uh, but here it is, I can get achievements by completing mission, etc. Primo Gems, uh, Adventure Rank experience, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, other than that, we can also do other world missions and get these collectibles. And I do believe that also gives you the 4 star, um, what is it, 4 star catalyst blueprint as well. By the way, I have tried this. If you come to Kujo Encampment, you can actually do the goddamn Tatara Tail missions, which means you can actually break the barriers, which I'll showcase in a bit. Also, regarding the mysterious conches, you cannot even interact with him, so yeah, screw this guy. I don't care about it. Like I said earlier, you can actually interact with Xavier here normally, as if you have came to Inazuma normally. This is probably the funniest thing. I thought I would never be able to get inside the Tatara Suna Island. But here it is, me breaking through the barrier. Also, after reaching the Yashiori Island side, I'm still able to get all the achievements and all. But here onward, that one of the NPCs that spawns here, when you reach the area, Paimon Stock is um, a conversation, yet the NPC is never here. Which is some of the in most interesting thing because it's so scripted. Some of these things you're not meant to be here until much later, and it's really funny how Paimon just reacted that way. But yeah, there's no one here. Also, if you're coming over here, talk to Kaji. He's the guy that helps you initiate the Orobashi's legacy mission, which stops the thunderstorm in the region. But yet, his dialogues—if you paid close attention to it. 
it's actually the dialogue that after you have activated the quest. Yet there is no quest line in the quest log. It's some of the weirdest thing that I have found out in the Genshin Impact scripts. After finishing the first part for Tatara Tale, some of you may know this maiden lady will be here to help you interact with and help you calm down the thunder sakura nearby on the island that will continually struck you with thunder. I did not able to record the activation of the quest, but I have activated the quest, the quest called Sakura Arborism. Hopefully that's the right way to say it. But yeah, you can actually disable all of them if you proceed with that correctly. I do believe that is the case. But for this account, I have a few things I want to mention is since I am on low adventure rank and I had done a tiny bit of story but not far enough to allow me to do any events whatsoever so I will not be able to participate in any events. I will not be able to unlock any weekly bosses because I have not done any of the story quests. Which is a shame and I think I might keep it this way and so it would be probably a hard mode Genshin Impact gameplay since without any consolations all my character talents will be maxed out at level 6 and I cannot proceed any further without any weekly bosses materials. Another aspect in Inazuma is probably the Inazuma city and you can actually interact with the receptionist uh, Catherine normally you can use majority of the actual functions here you can dispatch your things you can dispatch uh, your characters to Inazuma as well but the fact is all the other things in Inazuma other than the Adventurers Guild and the crafting table is seemingly uh, unaccessible. Other than the crafting table, the stock or store owners, either for food stores, etc., they won't have the shop menu for you to be accessed with. So you cannot buy things in Inazuma at all, you cannot uh, interact with a lot of the NPCs I do believe because like I mentioned earlier a lot of the NPCs are not actually there yet some of the quests I can't do just because of the nature of the scripts that's already written in the game and it's kind of annoying but it's kind of funny because I guess that is a sense of stating oh yeah you are illegal and you're not meant to be here and I cannot interact with any of the domains just yet. I'll quickly showcase what happens if you come to the sacred soccer tree, nothing will happen, you cannot interact with it. But you can still collect some of the electroclists that's locked behind certain levels of sacred soccer tree using the wave rider bug because this actually allows you to no clip through terrains. And as showcased here, when you get here, you, I will be able to no clip through this and collect the electroclist and the chest inside. This also applies to some of the other locations that I've used to collect all the electroclists and geoculus, etc. There's only two two geoculus that I cannot collect in the current 2.1 version because of the restrictions of water levels and I cannot get underneath the water in those regions so it's kind of a sad thing that I cannot do but regardless those are really easy uh, geoculus to get if you just do them normally so I did not really mind not doing so but also regarding the other one that you need to require the uh, sacred soccer tree level as well it's still really easy to get inside and collect set um, set electroclist and the chesting side all you have to do is no clip through this wall and actually the barrier itself the barrier doesn't even get stopped so it's actually really easy well if you really need this i probably will up upload another video re uh, addressing how you can get this bug but i'm not sure it you know if your accounts will get banned for this or not but also this is a key me uh, mechanics that i don't think mihoyo will be able to fix just yet and also i was able to use said mechanics to also starting to collect the orobashi's legacy um mission parts even though as I mentioned earlier, these are not actually activated. None of them are actually interactable until you are officially in Inazuma, etc. The guy here that gives you all the missions didn't actually allow you to do it. Another thing for the uh, Geoculus side is people were talking about the mission quest. I do believe it's called the Tsu of Yu. Um, this story quest requires you to collect some of the parts to be able to enter this final area for the final geoculus but of course with the same bug you are easily able to get inside without any issues you feel you can feel free to explore this area it's a little bit hard to what do you say navigate inside the area but it's still fairly easy but one of the weird things once again is paimon scripts are automatically activated here and enemies will spawn as if you have completed the quest and these enemies will spawn i ignored them because I thought it might be game breaking, so I did not touch them. Afterward, D 
the only two geoculars I cannot collect will be these two that's underneath the water. This one, initially I thought I might have a chance to get through the barrier with the same um, technique. And all I need to do is get underneath the water. And well, as some of you may know, I'm pretty good at doing that since I've traveled to Inazuma already. Then after a short while, I was able to figure out a way to get underneath here. I found I was able to find a scheme to slow, uh, slowly work my way down beneath the water level. And after that, I thought, yeah, this is it. I go get it. But then I probably forgot that those barriers doesn't work like that. These barriers won't actually be disabled and I do not have a lower area to utilize the mechanics to get that. Another one is here nearby the Talon Book Domain of Li Yue that since the Geoculus is way below water, any plunging attack will not be able to collect it. So I just left those two out and I could not be bothered about it. And here I am, basically collected every single Electroculus and Geoculus in about one and a half hours. The Anemo Oculus I was able to collect from uh, Storm Terror Slayer. Some of you may know I already made it inside pretty easily with the Flying Bug and I have already done so. Here are just clips of me upgrading all the statues and finally getting, well, I guess, some adventure rank levels because I'm starting to think I want to eventually reach um, adventure rank 55 without doing any story quest and just have basically this account that has basically explored everything but just no story, no story has been done. And also, uh, the Stone of Remembrance, I do believe you still can interact with such quests even though you have not done any story quests. So I probably will be able to get a free 5-star artifact from an Adventure Rank 25, which is a pretty funny thought. I still haven't completed it though. And here is me finally maxing my Nemo statue. Just imagining what Venti would be thinking. Oh yeah, this guy already been to Inazuma, yet yeah, now only come back and finish my statue. I really, really want to thank you all for what you have done so far for me. It's just the span of two days my channels were able to grow so much. This initially was only going to be a 1000 subscribers special. And I once again thank you so much for making this instead into a 2000 subscribers special video. And here is the footage of me actually doing my first ever world level ascension quest for this account. As long as this account exists and is not being disabled by MiHoYo, I intend to keep progressing through this account daily and making sure that I eventually will be able to clear floor 12 of Spire Abyss. And with all those restrictions, I do believe this will be a hard journey, but I'll see you guys when we get there. Also, I'll be streaming tomorrow uh, live uh, of Engine Impact of all my three accounts. Hope to see you guys there, and I do want to get to know you guys better. And please do let me know what type of Genshin Impact stuff you want, to, you want to see with all these accounts I make. And I'll see you guys there. Thank you so, so much once again.